Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What is something that's way too sexualized? Phone game ads. Nothing like trying to find a work-related, how-to, YouTube video at the office when an unskippable ad pops up with a young maiden. Lying spread eagle. Chained to a slab with a goblin aing her crotch. I am so glad my ad blocker still works. Children and child beauty pageants. It's just so gross and creepy. I've seen pictures. It's creepy as fuck. No child should be wearing that much makeup. It's just disgusting. I remember one episode of that child beauty pageant show, and the mother forced the daughter to have either her legs or like face waxed and the daughter really didn't want it. It was quite sad, knowing the mother was living vicariously through the child and subjecting her to those situations. 15-year-olds on TikTok. Children on social media. Children in general. It's okay once the algorithm adjusts to you trust me bro. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. TikTok seemed to think I was a black man in a relationship when I first joined. I exclusively got relationship posts by black creators. It had me scratching my head as to why that's all I was getting for quite a while. I'm NGL I've never seen that shit in my four years on the app. That machine in the gym that spreads legs and on which you never ever make eye contact while training on it. At the main gym I go to it's rotated 90 degrees so you're pointing at the weight rack side of the machine. Next to it. At our gym, it's flipped towards the wall at the side of the room. Eating a banana. Remember, banana to mouth, never mouth to banana. Lol good point. I'm gonna try the mouth to banana method in front of my husband next time and see if it gives him any ideas. Tears of joy. The word, daddy. Got my kids out here calling me bro. As long as it's not, step bro. This subreddit. Y'all need to go to horny jail. Locking up all the horny people together what could go wrong. But also, what could go right? My little pony, almost 200k post on rule 34. How do you know? Extensive. Research. Wholesome friendships between the genders. Exactly this. I work in M's. I'm not sure why it is. But we tend to have close friendships from other genders. Whether it's other M's workers or nurses. Maybe it's balanced to help us cope. I don't know. My last few best friends have been women. Never thought of them in a sexual way. I'm happily married to a wonderful woman. I have male best friends too. It's uncomfortable to me where everyone assumes that just because I'm friends with women or work 12 hour shifts with them that I'm either friend zoned because I'm not sleeping with them or I'm lusting for them. Especially now as I get older. I see most of them as my kids or little sisters. I would feel weird checking out the 20 year old nurse or aunt when I'm 34. But for some reason society thinks it can't happen. Stepmoms, sisters, even mothers and fathers, MILFs and FILFs. I'm really rooting for their partners. Tears of joy can you imagine the backlash and teasing they get having, that, spouse. Big ego booster at the same time not. Edit, D-I-L-F. I thought it was D-I-L-F, not F-I-L-F. Kids clothes. Half of the stuff in the Walmart girls section is crop tops and really short skirts. For babies, and six-year-olds, it's horrible. It's disgusting to see. People can argue it's because girls are smaller on average. But when you're a kid the size difference is obsolete. Also, give girls pockets. Hated that I had to use a purse as a young girl. Ya know what my mom started doing. She started buying me boys jeans when I was a kid. Because they fit me better and had pockets. Seriously. The only thing that makes boys clothing different is that it is marketed for boys. Just like men's shampoo. Men and women don't have different hair. So we can use the cheaper men's shampoo and be totally fine. Anime. Especially when characters are, seem so damn young. Bon and Elaine in Seven Deadly Sins lol Idgaf if his fairy GF is 400 years old or whatever. She looks and sounds 8. Shit bothered me every time they were on screen together. Yes. I've tried to get into it a ton of times and 90% of it is super sexual. Oftentimes in creepy ways. I just want to watch a good story. I'm very much into anime, but yeah the lewd stuff can be a bit much. When I'm at the gym watching a very normal story and all of a sudden they stick a bathing scene in. There while someone behind me probably see my screen on my phone. Not great. Today, everything. Even you. Even, you. Massages. Yep I get regular massage therapy and every time I mention I'm going for a massage other guys. Always sorta give me the like wink or the, oh. A massage. Gotcha. That kinda thing. Like dude this is a legit treatment. Ah. Legitimate treatment. Gotcha tongue out. Music artists. They're encouraged to dress, look, pose, dance and create lyrics in a certain way because, sex sells. It makes me feel icky that a 12 years old gets certain expectations from that instead of just being an oblivious youth who likes a catchy song. Yep. Music particularly pop music has gotten over-sexualized. I don't understand why the artists who work in auditory form shouldn't need suggestive and 
revealing music videos to make it a hit. Not to mention some of the over-the-top lyrics HTTPS. U2.be slash HSM4 Potwames. Let's be honest some of them are bordering on softcore porn. I can't tell if you're really old or really young. This is has been true for decades and decades. It's not a new phenomenon. Breastfeeding in public like dude, the kids got to eat. This one really grosses me out. Like, it's literally a parent feeding a child. Making it sexual is so fucking warped and gross. Let parents feed their children weirdos.